What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the Dicky Dines Show. Today we're playing Castle Crashers, and we have some fun stories for you. Yeah, for that. So for those of you who don't know, me and Austin are in uh, bands, and we've been in bands for most of our young adult young lives. adult life, and we've had some good shows and some bad shows. Really bad ones. So, do you want to start? Oh boy. Um, I guess so. <clears throat> okay, so I got put on one of the worst shows I've ever played in my entire life. Yeah. Uh, it was like a favor show where like we said yes because some other bands dropped uh -huh. and we were like put on there last minute. So like nobody was coming out for us because we, we didn't promote it because we got put on like last second. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> it was these bands that I had never heard of before. And they didn't really have music up or anything, so I didn't really know what to expect. Uh -huh. So I get to the venue, right? And like Loden's at, uh, for some reason Loden was at like like 6.30 or 7, which yeah. is like really late for Loden. Um, so we got, I got there, and there was just there was just no one there. Like the venue wasn't open yet, so I was like, okay, that's, that's weird. Maybe they're just waiting till like seven to open. <laughs> and uh, Loden's at six thirty. We open the doors for you at seven. <laughs> yeah, so there's no one there. And then uh, one of the other band members from one of the other bands showed up, and it was just me and that guy there for like an hour. So not, <laughs> so not only did like the venue not show up yet, but none of the other bands were there yet either. The venue didn't show up. <laughs> well, there, no one was there, and I messaged the guy who booked the show, and I was like, yo, dude, when? When's the show supposed to happen? He's like, well, it's supposed to be like open and going. And I was like, it's supposed like, to be right now. I was like, there's literally no one at the venue. Like, it's not open. He's like, oh shit. He's like, I'll come down there. And he like came over and was just like trying to open the doors like that. Like I didn't try that. Yeah, and, right. Uh, yeah, there was just no one there. And so he called like the owner and he's like, hey, what's going on? And then like he he showed up, came over, opened the venue, and then like left. And we were just like sitting there like. What is, kind is, of is venue is this? this? It, was, it was Studio 7. Oh my god! Which, it was weird, because I love that venue. I've never had a problem there before, but that one time, it was like nobody knew that anything was supposed to happen that night. Yeah, so we go inside, and then, like, we load in all of our gear, and there's just no one there. Like, yeah. there's no security, there's no people, there's just... What? It's How just, is that even, like, legal? I, it's like the venue didn't even know that they were playing a show that night, and then they had, like, a sound guy show up, like, last minute who was just like, I guess I'm doing sound tonight. And they, there was no security, there was nobody running the bar, there was nobody doing any of that. It was just sound guy and just the bands. What? <laughs> and and uh, yeah, we, we go to play, and we were like the, putting on a headline for some reason. And the the bands that opened, their first band was just like this doom metal band. And it was the first time I'd ever seen a doom metal band live before. Yeah. And I didn't realize that doom metal was just like... Dun, dun. Yeah, really slow. Yeah, just really like, low. and then just like. Da, 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 da. So that was uh, interesting for me to see that. That was the first band, and the whole time we were talking to all the bands, and they were all nice and stuff. And we were like, we were watching them. We were out there sporting because nobody else was there. What so, what day of the week was this? It was like a weekend. Oh, it was a weekend. Yeah, it was a weekend. Oh, wow. It wasn't wow. a weekday show. It was a weekend show. It was like Sunday. But yeah, so we were watching them play, and then the other band played, and they were like really pretentious. And then this, the third band played, and. Uh, they're the strangest band I've ever seen live. They, the vocalist had a huge like upside down cross around his neck, uh -huh. and when I say huge, I mean like Flava Flav clock huge, Ooh. like <laughs> like it was held on by like towing chains. Like, <laughs> it, it was a huge fucking clock or a upside down cross, yeah. and it was like thick too. It was just ridiculous to see. It was like bling. It was like black metal bling. Yeah, exactly. And uh, oh, man. they had like like novelty skulls up on like the. The, the amps and stuff and like candles everywhere and like spider webs and like fake skeletons like it was like a horror show um, oh, but the vocalist he was he just looked like every kid that sat by themselves during high school <laughs> it, which was weird because they were like the most like they were just like this black metal band yeah and he just looked like he played Yu-Gi-Oh <laughs> it, it was really weird because uh, I wasn't expecting that yeah and then they would go up there and they were super black metally and every time that he would announce the song it'd be something like really like mytho based or like cryptology based so you'd yeah. be like this next song is called Fear of the Minotaur <laughs> and I was just like, I was like what is that <laughs> and he's just yeah and was like, this next song is called Crypt Walker <laughs> and I didn't know that was like how black metal bands were supposed to sound so I was like what this, What the fuck is this <laughs> and uh yeah so we had to like watch them play the whole time and then we went up to play and literally the three bands that opened left like, what? When we, like, yeah, like, like as you were going up to play. Yeah, like we were loading on to play, and then the guys were like, "Oh yeah, good luck up there, man." And then they all left. All three bands left, and oh, and no. we and we played for like the six people I brought. Oh, and by no. six people, I mean the two that were that were there, <laughs> yeah. that weren't like uh, you know like a girlfriend or something. Oh man. So that's yeah, we played terrible. for two people and the the sound guy and the booker. 
And it was just like, oh, I was like, okay, well, you know, thanks for coming out to our practice, guys. Because there's nobody <laughs> fucking here. Like, why are we even playing? Like, still, like, why Why are we continuing to play? We're not getting paid. Nobody's, yeah. nobody's here. Uh, there's no audience. Like, what, what's the point? Like, yeah, right. So we played it's like our a set. practice, Yeah, basically. this is all it was. It was just a practice. Well, yeah, so we played our set, and then, you know, there was just nobody there to clap or say anything. So I don't even know why who I was talking to. I was, like, looking at the Thanks booker. Thanks for coming out, guys. Yeah, like, Thanks for coming The sound out. guy's in the back. You're welcome. He's, like, half asleep because he didn't know he was supposed to be there. Yeah, right. But, yeah, so, yeah, we played that show, and then we left, and... We were like going to say bye to pe the people that were there, and the sound guy had already left. Like after we were done with our set, <laughs> he's just like, I don't fucking care. Oh my god! And just gosh. went home, and then yeah, that was that was the show. I guess it was the worst thing I've ever done, and I was so I was I think I was more upset that the bands just left. Yeah. And they were just like, we sat through their shitty sets, and then they couldn't just sit through ours. Like what the fuck? But that that is a douchey move for sure. Yeah, especially given the circumstances that like all of us got fucked that night, and they didn't even seem like they cared or knew what was happening either. Because those bands all showed up late too. Like yeah, it's like they didn't even know the show was happening. But so so the was, band that dropped that you filled in for, they knew what was up. They yeah, were like, yeah, like, this isn't that. this isn't gonna go over well. Let's give it to some other band who will, you know, do do, do really terrible. Exactly. Oh my yeah, god. Yeah, so that was probably one of the worst experiences I've had. <laughs> playing a show ever all right so one of my terrible show experiences happened a while ago and it was when uh, I first started this this one band um, years ago and we were playing this show up in uh, this place it was literally like three hours away from where we lived mm -hmm. so I mean it was a drive and we actually like rented out a van yeah. to uh, you know take like 15 people up with us because we had no idea where we were going. Yeah. And anyone that wanted to come up to see us, they you know they're not going to drive three hours yeah, to exactly. come up and see us. So we rented a van and then we loaded up with uh, you know about 12 people and then we drove up there. And we're driving and you know we finally uh, we finally get really close and it is like the most in the woods like there is nothing around yeah we're we are in the woods back road just like redneck hick land yeah like w there's no reason for a metal show in like where we are and so we turn down this road and it gets even more like it's a dirt road mm -hmm. you know so it's like what venue like is back here play some guy's yard exactly like what is this but you know we we're like whatever let's just do it and so we're driving and we turn in and we're kind of making jokes like about like, you know, how it looks so redneck and, you know, it's like kind of like inbred area mm -hmm. or whatever. And like not to sound mean or anything, but the first person we see there, like, okay, so we, we pull in to the venue and it's just literally this looks like a small warehouse uh -huh. and it's in the, just surrounded by trees yeah. and woods and there's just nothing. And so... We, uh, we pull in, we park, and we get out, and the first person we see is this kid who's like, he, he looks like so inbred, and I don't want to sound, <laughs> I don't want to sound mean, like I know he some people, like, inbred. they can't help it, yeah. but like, he had some strange, like, deformity with, like, his face and stuff, and we were just like, what are, where, yeah, what where is are this we? place, like, like where are eyes. we, exactly, the hills have eyes, and so, um, so we're like, whatever, and there's like a couple other bands that showed up like shortly after us, and we started talking to them, and it was cool and stuff. And uh, so we started playing this show. One of the bands was one of these like really just super douchey, pretentious, like like Abercrombie and Fitch looking dudes, it's you like, know? Well, are you guys in a band? <laughs> exactly right. And so we're like kind of put off by that, but it's you know whatever. But uh, anyway, so we're there and we're um, you know setting up and we're about to play. And the venue's cool. It's actually a really cool venue. It has, you know, good sound system. There were, you know, maybe like 30, 40 people there, nothing too crazy. So we're playing and we're like halfway through our set and the, our vocalist decides it would be a good idea to jump down in the crowd mm -hmm. and start moshing with the fans, yeah. you know? And so he does that and our vocalist was a big guy. Yeah. And so <laughs> his, uh, his brother was there and he's also a big guy. And his brother uh, shoulder checks him mm -hmm. into the wall 
and literally puts like a hole his body put a hole into the wall our, our vocalist oh body my God. put a hole into the wall and so he like fall he hits the wall he like falls over and he's like oh my gosh and he gets back up on stage and then he kind of you know we we kind of continue doing the, the set because when you have adrenaline you don't really feel it right away you yeah know? and so you know we're like oh whatever like that sucks we'll probably have to you know pay for that wall or whatever but so after the show you know he's kind of like cooled down and stuff like that and then his shoulder is like twice the size of his other shoulder oh my god i mean it is just it is like black and blue and he can't move it and he's in like excruciating pain yeah and so i mean at this point it's probably like midnight because it was a really late show yeah and uh, so we decided to find the nearest hospital yeah. where we were at, which was like half an hour away. So we went to the hospital and he got his shoulder looked at and stuff. And, you know, they did their doctor stuff on it. And then we didn't leave the hospital until like three in the morning. Yeah. And then we had a three hour drive all the way back home. Jeez. And so we didn't get home until like six in the morning. Fuck. And yeah, it was just like the most ridiculous experience. So needless to say, he didn't jump down in the crowd to mosh with the fans after that little incident happened. Oh, yeah. I bet he was pissed at his brother. Oh yeah, totally. The fucking gnarly shoulder check, break the venue and his shoulder. <laughs> yeah. And then spent three hours in a hospital. So what, what was wrong? Did like they say what was wrong? After I he, he didn't break it or fracture it, but it was like just, just severely, just bruised. really, really messed up. Yeah, it was just like a very hard hit, and it, yeah, it was bad. That's that's but, funny. So we drove three so hours. Did you guys have to pay for the hole eventually? I you know I think we just because uh, they were gonna give us some money. It was like a hundred bucks, uh -huh. and so we just told them to keep it and to let us know if it's not enough. Yeah. And then we never heard from him again. Oh. So I assume it was probably fine. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so that was very, very not <laughs> fun experience. I bet. It doesn't sound too fun. Thank you for watching, everybody. I uh, hope you enjoyed our uncomfortable band stories. Mm -hmm. um, if you like the story stuff, let us know below. And let us know uh, your, your shitty stories, I guess. See you guys next time. See ya.